<laughs> Great movie. And Maximilian Schell, who played the German lawyer, Hans Rolf, won the Oscar as the best actor of 1961 for that performance. One of his competitors in that category being Spencer Tracy, also for Judgment at Nuremberg. And that was a real credit to Max, too. I mean, do you realize how difficult it was to stand out in a film with the number of dynamic personalities and performances that this movie has? The one most heavily criticized for his performance in the movie was Burr Lancaster, because Max Schell, born in Vienna, and Marlene Dietrich, born in Berlin, were genuine Europeans. But by contrast, Burr, born in New York City, kind of seemed to stand out more as an actor than the real thing. But Stanley Kramer, after he was unable to get Laurence Olivier for that part, was thrilled to have Burt Lancaster in it for the box office value he had, particularly. And indeed, the film did very well attracting customers. Up next, Burt's no longer on trial. He's actually in prison in an excellent biopic which brought him Academy Award attention the year after Judgment at Nuremberg. This time, he's directed by John Frankenheimer. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, star of the month Burt Lancaster becomes the Birdman of Alcatraz. Then Burt matches wits with Paul Schofield in The Train. And Judy Garland and Lancaster butt heads in A Child is Waiting. Visit